Hi everyone, it's me, Pixie. Today we will continue reading the comic book Ghostplay written by Flop. And if you missed the previous part, the chapter 0 and 1, you can find it in the description box. There's a link. There's also a link to um, Flop's comic, which you can access freely. And I will do a quick recapitulation of the previous chapters, so you stay tuned. But I think this is a really straightforward um, comic, so you can pick it up as we go. In the intro we discovered there are humans and there is a feather race and they are called the angels and they basically taught human human beings everything they know and everything was fine for hundreds of years they lived in peace until one greedy human captured an attack an angel one of the feather race and uh, he actually killed her because he demanded more treasure called power that uh, started a war between the feather race and the human race the humans won the battle Austin, a human man, led them into the war, into the fights, and they won, humans won. And these guys, who are the toughest, the bravest humans who fought the Federates, they are called uh, Templars. And they guide the entrance from which the Federates came from. Basically, it's like a heaven, heaven gate. It's called the Heaven Eye. So, this is like the intro and then we actually begin the story 200 years passed in peace and there's the chapter one the ice princess so we skipped from the past to the present and in the present moment there is a kingdom named Hakin there's the king and the princess the ice princess and the people call her freak because she's very different she has pale eyes, like white hair, and she's like very, you know, ice princess. There's a demonstration before the castle, and the princess, she decided that she's a burden to her, mm, to her king, to her father, which is not her real father. Uh, he kind of adopted her, he found her in an ice cradle, and she puts down her crown and escape from the castle because you don't want to um, be a burden no longer for the kingdom um, for her father and this is where we continue the story we are reading ghost plate written by flop this is chapter two kidnapping so we start with a uh, orange flag and a castle, all castle. Slan, are you sure that we are headed in the right direction? Hmm. Yes, I was scared here for the longest time. I'm taking you to the Ice Princess through a shortcut. Don't worry yourselves. But She's probably surrounded by her guards at the very moment. Are you sure it is the wisest thing for only three men to attempt this? Hmm. So we see three men and they are actually trying to reach into the castle. Maybe to kill the princess, we don't know yet. There will be no need to fight. I am alone. And I'll go with you. her, the princess, in a disguise. And she's so brave. The princess. She, she's the ice princess. Oh my god, she's so damn beautiful. <laughs> Take me with you. Hand me over to Austin and we can end all of this. 
for you who don't know, Austin is the main leader of the rebellion, the war between humans and federates. So he met the human race, like the main fighter, the main baddest. Your Highness, you must understand, we don't want to do this, I swear, we don't want to hurt you, but we just can't bear the thought of our family suffering if we fell into another era of fighting and fighting. Our wives, our children, we don't stand a chance against the Templars. Please, we don't want to do this. We are afraid. Please forgive us. I understand. I am the one who caused all this trouble. Let me be the one to end it. So they wander to mm, and over to Austin. Well, that, that's curious. I like her necklace. It's matching their eyes. She's so very kind-hearted, Slan. I feel so guilty. Mm -hmm. Fools. There's no way this girl is going to Austin. She's already mine. Oh, dramatic entrance. Demon you. Let her go, you fall creatures. Oh, for a moment, there you almost sounded noble, huh? As if the mobs were suddenly upholders of justice. Watch your tongue. I was first class amongst the legions for years before retiring. Even the Silver Knight, Cain himself, respected me. I'm warning you, you'd better, better play nice. Okay, still slightly really tough. And the mummified man is holding the princess. It's like so much drama. Or what? You nibble at me? Leave off, toothless form. Prepare to taste my blade, bastard. Oh, angry noises. To be continued. <laughs> so this is the chapter 2. And I really like the art. Look at that. On the perspective, it's like marvelous, marvelous. So the princess wanted to escape, but the unknown mummified man just mm, tried to steal her, I guess. And these guys wanted to handle the princess to Austin, which is really interesting. Kidnapping part two. the guard, run! And he's holding the bent sword, like, wow! Good. Now you follow me. Why? Why should I? Who are you? This is so good. Because you are a naive girl. Do you actually believe you can save anything by turning yourself over to Austin? You think your father will simply stand by 
what is happening without the fight. You will not make it. You will start a full on war. Listen to me now. The man who just fled will spread the news that you were taken by a strange man, and the king and Austin will throw themselves in a race against the other to find you. It will no matter who wins, the result will be the same. A war. What you should do now is to hide yourself before the truth figures out. If you don't want your people suffering from the war because of you. Why are you helping me then? Helping you? <laughs> As I said, you are a naive girl. I'm not helping you, sweetie. I am kidnapping you. <laughs> I feel like there should be an evil laughter. Like <laughs> so, we are getting to know this unknown character, which is um, a little bit strange because she's kidnapping the princess to relieve the pressure between Austin and the king but also he's not acting very polite and nice like, you know, very interesting plot twist let's keep reading chapter 2 kidnapping part 3 Ding. Kane, you fool how on earth did you lose a right on my tower? from right under your nose? Your Majesty, it's all my fault. Find her! Find her! And until you do not come back here to face me, do not come back to my kingdom at all. Yes, Your Majesty. Kain. Do we have any leads? We do. There are rumors of the strange man being spotted at Grace's within. Mm. Then, let us go at once. We shall begin our investigation there. Ora, oh, yeah. silver knight. And we have another character, which we saw in the first video, and his name is Kain, Kain, Kain. And he is the silver knight, kind of um, elite, fighter elite knight and he's the personal guard of the princess and he's in trouble because he let her escape actually okay to give him some credits she actually fooled him but okay okay and this is like the justice rightful character okay we continue Take my cloak. I can't be slowed down by you if you catch cold. I was born in ice. Cold means nothing to me. The stories are true, then. I do not know what rumors you have heard, but yes, I am a freak. Some people worry about famine and disease, about their families and their futures. Some about wealth and rank and better yet. Some worry about the rumors. The fear of rumors is not something you would understand. Just like the fear of starvation will never be something people in my position would understand either. Tell me then, why do you take me with you? Do you want to save the people of Hagen? <laughs> I do not want to save anything. I am simply a villain kidnapping a princess in his own interest. Austin wants you while I want something in Austin's hand. You would mess with Austin in the bloody angel? Who are you? People who knew me used to call me Ghost Play. Ghost 
play one of the six. Wow. Wow. So now we know his name. It's Ghost Play. The six. The six most legendary warriors in Netherland. They are Bloody Angel, Austin, leader of the men, White Judge, Catalyst, Catalyst, Black Judge, Heaven Sword, Nan Feng, and mm, well, Ghostblade and Asura Zio. I'm so sorry about the names, but I'm not sure how to pronounce them correctly. So there's a um, Mighty Six, the best of the best, like elite warriors. And Ghostblade is one of them, and he's like really badass. Okay. The six. <laughs> what an annoying group title. <laughs> mm. This is getting interesting. So, this is the end of chapter two. Kidnapping and I've done quite a lot of reading so we will read the chapter 3 in the next video So thank you so much for staying with me. I hope it's not too overwhelming the information But I really love the paintings. It's so beautiful so, 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 so beautiful. Um, as always let me know you want more if you want my commentary because you do mention it before that you like my commentary but i'm not sure about it very much so let me know and take care